Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you tonight. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. Uh, at the end of my cold, went to the doctor, no bronchitis, just angry lungs. And here's Wellington. He's been, he's been wanting some attention. I just got home today and Alex is laying over here too. All right, I don't have a big haul, but I'm pretty excited for the things I got. Um, finally, our Crafter Square section has been beefed up at my one store. Uh, but first, my coffee in my Crazy Cat Lady mug. And I got some hazelnut. No, this is cinnamon today. Hi, Dub. Hi, baby. What you want? What do you want? Okay. I don't know what he wants, but we'll try this. So I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We went to this, I went to the store, picked up a few things, got some Easter stuff, and then I got a lot of crafty stuff. So I'll show you Easter first. First off, the candy. We just, we went through this at Christmas and Halloween. You gotta get the, if you want the good stuff, you gotta go soon. So what I found for Sarah is a Tofafe. Who doesn't love these? Uh, Stork brand. There are four pieces of candy in here. So I grabbed her one of those. I grabbed her some Dove peanut butter eggs. Because, well, yeah. Now, I'll get her Reese's as well. But these are Dove. Um, I got her this year some Sweet Tart jelly beans. And I like the smaller bag. So if you're looking for a family or a bunch of kids, this is probably not cost effective. But I'm purchasing for one. And so this is perfect because it's not the huge bag and this is just enough for her. So I got her the Sweet Tart brand for now. Some Junior Mint Easter eggs. How cute is that? <coughs> Sorry again. I could try to edit all this coughing out, but no. Yeah. And then I found these. Please look at these. They're little um, burlap sacks, you know, treat bags, but they have ears. And it comes with two per. So I grabbed a pack of those because I'll put some candy or something in it for the Easter basket. Um, I grabbed one of these and it's really the only reason I got it is for my mantle. I could put candy or something in it and it may end up if I don't use it on the mantle, but gold and I've been really obsessing I'm trying to take it apart so I can um, put it together for you I think these are great and you know what these would also be really fun to do is like wrap them in a yarn or a twine or a ribbon but I think I'm just gonna set it on my mantle and I might fill it with some excelsior just to put some green and I could also put like a bunny or something in there but I love the gold and the shape so I just grabbed the one we'll see I got some excelsior I usually see this color in spring and it's really verdant well, there's a word for you verdant uh, it's a very lovely shade of green and I love it and this just says spring to me if you want to do like a nest or anything this would be perfect I grabbed that. Um, I know I have some of these, but just in case I grab one more pack because I haven't gotten my Easter stuff out in the craft space yet. So I grabbed one of those. <coughs> I found <coughs> the smaller cone. I only got one because I'm going to make one Easter egg or one carrot out of this. But I also found in the, um, with the ribbon, this orange twine. And I think this should be enough to cover it. Cross our fingers. Um, to, to, for this, because this is going to go in a different place than the gigantic one. So I grabbed the cone when I saw it. And then I picked up the two of these. They're nine feet, so I feel like 18 feet should cover this, but again, what I might do is hold it double with a regular colored twine. Which may be probably what I will do. And that'll be a fun color too. So I grabbed two of those for this project, and I'll try to get a video of it for you. Um, 
this is not necessarily spring, but it's going to be. So, you know, I have on my mantle the um, wooden beads, and then I made garland, and I'm going to do, oops, sorry, buddy, I'm going to make some garland with these for my Easter and put some tassels on the end, and these are so pretty, and you get a fair amount, so I thought I will make one strand with the 120, and I can lay it up on the mantle, maybe with the giant carrot, because <laughs> that would be fun, right? And please look at the bottom of this cup. There's a footprint. My boss, Wendy, got that for me, and I appreciate it. Um, okay, so non-Easter related stuff. I'm gonna need you to hold on to your hat for these guys. And one of these will end up in a giveaway. They are cat nail files. What? I, of course, had to get the black and white one to go with my boys. And then I have a solid gray one, and this will be part of a giveaway. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers. I know, isn't that crazy? So I'll keep this one because it matches, but they're nail files. And then I got the solid gray one because, well, cats. So I need to start collecting stuff for a giveaway. Um, okay, look out, you. I found the Bolero product. There's a ton of new stuff out. I'm not a huge fan of the Bolero products. Um, I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with them, but I have very sensitive skin, and so I don't tend to use those products. However, I do like the face wipes, which I feel like these are different, packaged different, and the packaging is incredible. If you have anybody in your life that likes them, Easter basket, Mother's Day, perfect. Go grab some of that Bolero product because it will make a great gift basket. I just got some coconut face wipes. I do use these when I remove my makeup or just like after the gym and I want to freshen up. So I grab the coconut, which I do want to smell them because if they smell as fabulous as I think they do, I may want to grab another pack for the summer. So I'm just... Oh yeah, they smell really nice. They smell very... I remember I have a cold, but they smell very suntan lotion to me, which I love. So I grabbed a, a pack of these. But look at that. Doesn't that scream Golden Girls? Come on, that's Blanche's bedroom decor right there. So I grabbed that. Uh, my store, I've never seen this there before, but they had the Powerade Zero, which is zero sugar, and I need to hydrate. So I grabbed a bottle of that for me. Hi, buddy. Oh, it's a new bottle, too. I haven't bought this in a while because I've been kind of obsessed with the Gatorade Zero. But it's a new bottle. For anybody who's keeping track, I'm not sure who is, but there's like diamonds in the bottle. And honestly, it's not a better or worse price. Usually it's 10 for 10 or like 90 cents. So I just picked up one while I was there. I did grab one more Easter sign. And actually, tonight I'm doing a DIY that you'll see hopefully on Wednesday if I can get it done. Just depends how I feel. Um, on the back, it's two eggs and two different ideas that I have. So I grabbed one more of these signs just because I wanted the egg. So we have that. I did show you that. Um, I picked up a couple things. I grabbed one more blind bag. This one is Slime and Flick Cars or Rally Car. No idea. It's a Hot Wheels. Again, guys, Easter is coming. It's a Hot Wheels. How sweet is that? I don't know. It's squishy. And then not squishy. So we're going to open this up at some point. But it's slime. Boys like slime, right? I don't know. But I got some Hot Wheel thingy. Um, for Sarah's Easter basket... I grabbed these gloves for $1. These gloves that are almost identical in design, so they're rubber on the fingers, fabric on the back, at Target are $5 in the dollar spot. No thank you, that's crazy. So I grabbed her a pair, and I have some, so I grabbed her a pair for her basket. I thought those are super pretty. So I grabbed a pair of gloves for her garden-themed Easter basket, and then I got her some plant clips. These are a little less aggressive because she doesn't have big plants in her house, but this is good for shearing if she wants to cut back some plants or just have some, some garden shears. Um, they're not the heavy-duty ones, but they are, they are serrated, and they do have a lock on them, and I think they will be perfect 
in her little basket. And then um, I, oh, I was going to grab some plant food for her too. So I need to get that. Now, the last things I found were in the Crafter Square section. Like I said, I had been seeing some of this stuff. My store didn't have it, but the one store, if you're in Columbus Pickerington area down the street from me on 256 in Reynoldsburg has um, one, two and a half sections. So there's one huge section, one small, and then another half section of all this craft square. But look at this. I'm going to take it out. For small craft storage, like beads and things and the lids hold better than the food storage ones i can tell you that um i don't know if they're food grade or not but they're just little cute storage containers for your little bitty stuff which you know we all have a lot of little bitty stuff in our craft room so if you want to do any type of organizing you get four of these for one dollar um, this was the only one my store had, so I don't know if they came in different colors. I'm assuming they'll be coming out in different colors, but I don't know. But I grabbed a pack of those. And then I found these organizers that almost look like a pill organizer, but bigger. Um, I'm going to open this as well. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it works, I think, just like the pill organizer, but there are one, two, three, four, five eight sections and think about your beads little beads glitter maybe if you mix up some paint um any type of little jewelry findings things like that would be perfect has a good snap on it so things won't spill out i grabbed two of them um if you watch my other video or my other channel, which I know the link isn't working right now. I need to fix it or it's not, didn't show up on the bottom, but it'll show up on this one. But it's called the Cambridge Way and I'm doing a cross stitch soon that has beads and I thought this is perfect to hold the beads. But this would also hold um, for knitting, stitch markers, crocheting stitch markers, a lot of my other crafts, this will have come into play. So I grabbed two of those. And especially if you go like crafting on the go, because you'll want containers, things spill. Um, these that I know they've had these for a long time, but I never picked them up and I need them because I'm tired of wasting <laughs> to paint. So um, I grabbed, It's a, you get six of them. I mean, that's a, gir a good deal. And they're pretty, um, yeah, they're pretty thin, but it's paint, guys. It's a paint, paint palette. But if you were having a kid's party, these would be perfect. Everybody can have their own little palette of paint. And speaking of, I know I have no idea what the quality is, but I saw these months ago and thought we were just never going to get them. But look at these. Now, I'm going to take one out. Again, I don't know the quality. And if you keep score, you know, ooh, not too bad. You know that I went and bought... Um, good pen uh, at Christmas time I bought some good paintbrushes but sometimes you just need cheapy ones that you don't mind ruining so that's a really fine detail paintbrush these are for acrylic paint and they don't feel bad at all um, the yellow are for acrylic they had black and I think the black felt more like for watercolors and I don't pr prefer that but I do a fair amount of painting um, these are wooden just keep that in mind so I wouldn't leave them sitting in water. What I tend to do is paint, 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 and then I go to the sink and I use a makeup brush cleaner and some soap and I get the shit off, squeeze all the water out, and lay them up to dry. So for $2, we got, and I think they feel like decent quality for sure. I mean, they feel like those packs you get at Walmart or something. Um, this is a three-quarter inch. This is a tenth of an inch. And then the other pack had this size, which this is a nice detail brush. Now, I can already see that I need to trim that. There's some high thread or high, high pieces up here, but I just need to trim it. You just want to look at them, but they're sticking. I'm pulling on them pretty good, and they're not coming out. This one just needed, didn't get cut well is all. So, yeah, I mean, for $2, five paintbrushes. 
and they look decent quality to me for crafting obviously i mean i'm not painting the mona lisa with these things but for the type of crafting that we do why not um, the black ones, like I said, I think are watercolors and they're not going to be firm enough to really move acrylic paint is what I have found, which is why I don't use watercolor paint brushes very frequently. You need some kind of a resistance because acrylic paint is thicker, but I'm going to try these out tonight. Um, when I do my projects, especially this big one, I should have bought more, but I have plenty of paint brushes, so you should not have bought more. And then the last thing I purchased, and we're going to take this sucker apart too. It's a box, guys. Now they had a butterfly, a heart, or like a flower design. Let's open this up. Hi, buddy. I just want to see. Um, is that white pine? I mean, it's nothing special as far as boxes go. However, oh. Interesting. It's not, I mean, it's like a drawer. So you can like stack them up, pull them out. But if you don't like that side, you could also just put like a drawer pull on it. Or you can use them as two separate boxes. That's interesting. But it's neat. It's a drawer and you just stick your finger in. I don't know what you would put in there, but so that's pretty interesting. So I grabbed one of those just really because I was curious and wanted to see what it was all about. So that is everything that I picked up at my local Dollar Tree. Um, I think I will make a video and show us how to make these. I'll probably use twine. And then make, like I did for Halloween, and maybe hang like an Easter something on one end or not and just wrap it around things. We'll play with it and see what we want to do. But I feel 60 of these will get a, at least a foot long, maybe a foot and a half, two feet. So if you see these, these are fun. And I think they're fun for Easter, a little splash of spring. But that is everything that I picked up today. Um, like I said, I will try to remember tonight to fix that link. I know I put it in there, and I don't know why it didn't load, but we'll get it linked uh, for my other channel. Hi, Dubby. Did you want to say hi? You want to say hi? Yeah? He doesn't want to say hi. Do you want to take it down? He's so silly. Animals bring such joy to your life. And my little guys make me so happy. And I hope if you have pets, they make you as happy too. All right, guys, I am going to go do some crafting and I'm going to get this video loaded for you for tomorrow. And I hope you have a good one. Bye. Bye. Keep it straight. <laughs> have a good one.